Hello ladies and gentlemen once again welcome to my channel Divine here and Pastor Abraham so last time we looked at part one of uh, correction of hypokalemia using uh, the injection potassium chloride injection that was severe hypokalemia today we'll be looking at the hypokalemia from the context of the oral uh, management so we're looking at the oral formulation of the drugs and how do you manage the hypokalemia oral uh, drugs. This is looking at the mild to moderate hypokalemia using oral formulation drugs. So we're looking at the calculation in the context that uh, maybe the, in the, the doctor prescribes uh, the drug in certain minimals or whatever and then the pharmacist in the, in the pharmacy have got a certain composition maybe in milligrams. How did you convey that? How many drugs can you dispense? So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's go together here. So let's assume that, as you can see in this table here, I've put uh, uh, guidelines to help us. Uh, like a different guidelines, of course, put different uh, benchmarks or bench lines. That's, let's say, mild, the 3.0 to 3.5 millimoles per liter. And then the moderate uh, hypokalemia, as in 2.5 millimoles per liter to 2.9 millimoles per liter. This is categorized as uh, moderate hypokalemia. So let's assume... Um, we have got patient X who needs uh, 40 uh, millimoles of potassium to correct this patient or what called this potassium hypokalemia. So this is a patient who has been actually uh, found to have hypokalemia. Unless in this case we assume that the patient of course has got a mouth moderate and then they want to use oral drugs. And then the, what the deficit that they need to correct is 40 millimoles of potassium. And then the doctor prescribes this. And in the pharmacy you have the tablets uh, potassium chloride tablets that are available in the formulation as this presentation 600 millig uh, milligrams of potassium chloride known as slow care tablets and then you how how many millimoles uh, how many tablets are you going to give the patient to be equivalent or to this 40 millimoles of potassium that the doctor has prescribed here so this is what we're going to look up today so i want to do it from the context of moles then from moles we can multiply converted to millimoles so that you can see properly how this thing can be handled so we use this formula basically uh, minimos. So minimos is equal to uh, the weight of substance, okay, divided by the molecular what? weight. So let's start with I'll, I'll use uh, this. If we use this in weight, then it becomes one thousand, so that we convert it to minimos. So that's times one thousand. This gives us the, the minimos. Okay. So this is minimos, the weight of substance in grams. This is grams per mole. And this is number of moles. They give, the answer we'll get here will be moles. So moles times 1,000 gives us what? Minimoles. That's what there's 1,000 at the end here. I'm simply converting this part here to minimoles uh, by multiplying by 1,000 the more number of moles that we have there. So in this case, we need to know the weight or here, what to put here, and then the molecular weight here. So here's what I want to show you that. So we have here the weight, of course, is 600 milligrams here of potassium chloride the tablet you have in the pharmacy. So you put, this is somewhat 0 0.06 grams, divided by the molecular weight simply is the atomic number, atomic mass. Atomic mass is molecular weight as of the two atoms, chlorine atom and, the, and uh, potassium in this case, because if we break down here, uh, potassium chloride salt here in two uh, reversible reactions, we've got potassium here plus chlorine atom here. As you can see there, so we're going to add the, the, the atomic mass together, which is chlorine, of course, atomic mass is 34.45, and uh, for potassium uh, is 39.1. Uh, so those together you add is going to give us 74.55 uh, grams per mole. This is grams per what? Per mole. For this one, not minimums, but per mole. And this is grams. So grams, grams go times 1,000 here. So you're going to get here 0. Point Zero, uh, zero, 0.080 zero moles times 1000. This gives us millimoles. This gives us how many? 8 millimoles. So from here, we've found out that one tablet of potassium chloride contains 8 millimoles of potassium chloride. But in this case, we are, we are correcting the potassium. So we need to know. Uh, the number of minimals in the potassium, of course, not in the potassium chloride itself, because this is a salt made up of chlorine and the, and the potassium. So how are we going to come up there? As you can see here, the equation here is balanced here already. So one to one ratio is one more here, 
one 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 so one more of potassium uh, chloride is equal to one more of potassium uh, there so you see one one to ratio so that what it means basically here is that it's the same so the number of moles of millimoles of potassium in this salt is the same what 80 millimoles okay and here the doctor prescribed how many 40 millimoles so we, we say that this potassium deficit must be corrected within 24 hours so what you can basically do here you just take the tab the patients so you're going to give the patients two tablets okay which is equal to 16 millimoles uh eight hourly or three times a day which is eight hourly this will, will uh, give to what about for the 80 millimoles meaning that this patient's hypokalemia has been corrected in 24 hours using the tablets because each tablet contains eight millimoles of potassium and then if we give two tablets 16 16 times 3 48 so by 24 hours would have collected this patient uh, mild or to moderate um, hypokalemia using the oral drugs in the pharmacy now let me just add this part sometimes the doctor might write this one might write 40 uh, milli equivalent of potassium to be given the patient so how do you come with milli equivalent how do you come with milli equivalent how of this potassium chloride so let me put this way milli equivalent of course formula is the same is this one is equal milli equivalent of substance is equal to the same what we've come here which i've put here here uh, the mass in grams over um, molecular weight in grams per mole times 1000 then times what you call times valence the valence at the end there valence there is simply the combining um, uh, power of elements the combining power the charges is called the valence as you can see here when i break down the sort of potassium chloride give me what uh, the, the potassium of course charge of one plus chlorine atom one plus minus one so this combining power here is one the charge there is one so this is called the valence so the valence there is the one so as you can see here that means that 40 millimoles of potassium chloride is the same as what 40 uh, milli equivalent of potassium chloride because the valence is simply one it's the same but other sorts which are good bicarbonate containing sorts might not be the same because there the combining power changes others the, the bicarbonate sorts have got combining power of two okay so there it will, be, it, will, it will change but if it's potassium chloride itself which has got the variance of one one combining power is one the milli equivalent is the same as the, the millimoles of potassium themselves so this is what we had for you today as the summary video of the correction of hypokalemia using the oral potassium chloride which is known as the slow k uh, god bless you and stay safe in this era of covid 19. Take the drama out of minor illnesses. For expert advice, consult your pharmacist.